welcome back to my channel. I'm Brooke if you're new here and today we are going to head over to Disney Springs. I mentioned in my last video um, about needing to go about needing to go to the fit to run store in Disney Springs to see if I can find some new running shoes so that I can start um, running outside because I've currently been training for a 10 mile race and I've been doing that all on a treadmill which is fine and it does the job it's in the air conditioning because in Florida it is hot right now it is I believe like in the 90s so um, my plan is to go and find some new running shoes hopefully I'm hoping that it's gonna be like a fleet feet where you kind of get like measured and put into the right shoes because um, I know like Fleet Feet you can actually get shoes like you can try all these things to see the style of shoe that you need um, for what you're training for and so outside of that I've always used ASICs to run um, especially distance running so I'm gonna look at some ASICs I think they're nice and light uh, running shoes so I'm gonna look at that I'm gonna see what all they have at this fit to run and see what all it's about um, because our race our Pixar 10 mile run Disney race is on the 15th and it is currently the 4th of April it's the 15th or the 16th maybe the 16th um, and so we are getting close to time for the race and also I have no idea outfit wise what we're gonna do my girlfriend and I are doing this race together and um, I was trying to find something cute for Pixar uh, theme so I'll keep my eye out and see if I can find anything that would be really cute for that I also um, have Taylor Swift the night before our race and I'm still just I don't know what I'm gonna do I don't know how this is all gonna work out because the Taylor concert is in Tampa which is about an hour away from Orlando an hour and a half depending on where you're like going in Tampa and um, obviously the race is on Disney property it's running through Epcot and so yeah there's a lot going on I don't know what I'm wearing to Taylor I don't know what I'm wearing for the race I don't know how I'm gonna make going to Taylor and then waking up to go to the race so we are still trying to figure that out in the past couple months still haven't figured out what we're doing <laughs> for all that so anyway uh, let's head over to DC Springs and see if we can find some running shoes because that's number one I need some actual running shoes so that's where we're heading now so the fit to run store is in the building that's to the right of Wolfgang Puck some shoes and now I caved I got a little thing of rosé 
and the mac and cheese bites from the basket, which is the wine bar George quick serve. So, and then Lane got an ice cream cone. Was it good? Yeah. From Hagen dazs It's been a few hours since we got back from Disney Springs and back at the gym. I ended up getting the Asics Nimbus 25s. It feels like I am walking on a cloud. They are amazing. I think they're gonna be great to run in. Good morning, happy Saturday. I am currently heading out to go for a run and it's gonna be outdoors. And um, if you know, I live in an apartment and so um, I have to drive. Well, I don't have to drive, but I feel more comfortable driving or I feel more comfortable running in a neighborhood. And so I do have to drive over to a neighborhood that I actually have already uh, mapped out and measured. Um, 6.2 miles and so I'm gonna go and do that um, now and then later on we have Cayenne's baseball game and I'm not really sure what the rest of the day entails um, I am working every other day um, as of yesterday so I worked uh, the last two days I'm off today work tomorrow off the next day worked work the next day, off the next day, work the next day. And so it's just like trying to figure out all the things. The race, the Run Disney race that I have been uh, training for is next Sunday. Taylor Swift is on Saturday. I have no outfits for either. Like I wanted to, my girlfriend and I, we still haven't come up with like what our outfit for Run Disney is going to be. And um, I don't have any idea what I'm going to do for Taylor. Um, it may be like cool mom um, or it may be like cute 30 something. You know what I mean? Um, so I'm not sure. We've got seven days and me working every other day does not really help with that. So I'm not sure what we're gonna do for clothing. Um, and I'm still not sure how the heck I'm gonna go from Taylor Swift on Saturday night to running a 10 mile race and having to be there at three o'clock in the morning. So this is gonna be exciting. For, for all of us, you know, we're <laughs> gonna figure it out. Um, my watch or my app, my sleeping app says that I got nine hours and 59 minutes of sleep, which is unbelievable because I don't feel like I ever get that much sleep, but I was very, very tired, exhausted, um, emotionally drained from the last couple of days of work. So I really needed that, so. That's good. Almost 10 hours of sleep. That's crazy. Uh, so yeah, anyway, we're going to go run. Then we have baseball. And then we uh, may go to the house because normally we go see the house updates on Sundays. But I will be working on Sunday. And so maybe we'll pop over there. But a lot of times they're working on Saturdays. So we can't, I, I just don't like to go in and... Um, disrupt them while they're working so who knows who knows what we're gonna do um but let's go run i realized that i did not show the all the things that i got the other day from fit to run and actually i i had ordered some stuff from amazon as well um so i will show the shoes that I ended up choosing were the Asics. These are the Nimbus 5. Oh, geez. This is stuck to the... These are the Nimbus 25 um, Pure Gel shoes. They are like running on clouds. They are so comfortable. They are a little bit um, more dense than a normal Asics shoe, which is what I've always been used to. When I did cross country and track, I always ran in racing. I always ran an Asics uh, because they're so light and just 
very easy to run in um, and they have always had like a nice cushion sole and so um, this is really nice they it's so weird because the back goes out so far so like when I go down the stairs at our apartment uh, they tend to catch the stairs on the back so I'm always well not always I've had them for like a week but I'm uh, worried I'm gonna trip and fall one of these times but they're really cute um, this light blue color and I ran I have run in them once uh, but I have worn them around because um, new shoes always tend to rub the back of my um, heels or the like the Achilles area and uh, cause blisters no matter what no matter if they fit perfect or not um, they still will rub up on my um, the back of my foot um, until I get used to them so um, they did rub up on one of my feet I probably could have sized up another half uh, half size but um, they're very comfortable and they do fit but uh, they uh, do rub up on the back of my leg so anyway, um, I like them a lot. So I have those. And then on Amazon, I needed a belt because not all of my um, like running clothes have pockets in them. And so I got this little fanny pack that is really lightweight um, to put my phone in, my keys, and uh, I can hang my... Uh, AirPod case on the side, which I did add on this case as well recently, um, which is really pretty. But um, I got this at <clears throat> at Fit to Run. They had some, and they actually had some that had uh, water bottle attachments. Like I could find a small little tiny water bottles that I could clip on here as well. But um, I didn't want a whole lot of stuff dangling from the fanny pack. So I don't know if I'm going to do that, and especially if you're running a race, uh, there's always people handing out water and stuff for you, but for these runs where I do on my own, not in a race, um, it would be nice, especially for the really long distance, to have a uh, little water bottle. So I don't know. Maybe we'll add one later on, but this is perfect size. I've already tried putting my phone in there. It fits perfectly, um, and then my keys as well. It has a little thing if you still wear wired headphones which I don't know how many people do wear wired headphones anymore, but there is a little spot there for the um, headphones as well. But I got that, and then I got two pair, two new pairs of running shorts. They remind me of my cross-country shorts. Very light, airy, breezy, um, extremely, extremely comfortable. So I got this like dusty rose color and then a tan color. And I also got Curtis a pair of shorts too, and um, he said they're very comfortable. The lining inside was really comfortable. They're athletic shorts as well. So that was what I got from Fit to Run and then a little Amazon haul. I had all this stuff in a backpack because my intention was to run after work the last two days, but I had an emotionally draining last couple of days. So, um, and that just did not happen so that's that's my little tiny haul I've got my little water my simple modern 40 ounce that will still be cold when I get back in the car um, from running and um, I'm trying to decide what I'm gonna listen to while I run um, I normally listen to what um, to music because that's what pumps me up but I was kind of thinking about listening to a podcast and listening to a couple of stories so I don't know okay I know the air is gonna be loud shit it's hot oh okay so just did a 10k I ran for an hour and 16 minutes. My average pace was 12 minutes and 16 seconds per mile. My average speed per minute, my cadence was 150. I burned 847 active, 987 total. I don't know half the other stuff. It's hot. The humidity makes it feel 
12 times hotter. It's 76% humidity. My car says that it's only 78, but definitely was starting to feel like I was seeing stars there because the there just wasn't as much shade as I had kind of hoped there would be, but there were sprinklers, so that was nice. And now I'm just dead. Um, I gotta stretch out my ankles and um, do something with my shins to stretch those all out because I can feel a little bit of shin splints, but uh, this run, I had no issues with the shoes rubbing up against the back of my foot, so that's good. And, um, yeah, it was still good overall. I hit it. There were so many times that I was like, we're going to walk now. We need to walk. We need to walk. We need to walk. We need to take a break. Just because of the, like, sheer humidity and heat. So, just to say, if you're in a humid, humid climate and you're trying to train for a race on a treadmill in the air conditioning, that is not... <laughs> That is not going to help you because uh, running on the treadmill is just so much easier um, in those ways. Um, like when I ran the other day, it was nighttime, it was too late. Um, geez, at least. Um, it was too late and so I didn't run a full six miles. I only made it to like four and a half or something. But um, it was just so much harder than it had been on, oh shoot on the treadmill and so whew, I'm glad I did it I'm glad it's over uh, now I need some carbs I need more coffee I just had one cup of coffee earlier um, and I need a lot of water to replace everything that I just lost so heading back to the apartment now uh, gonna go to baseball and then We'll see what's we'll see what's next. I'm sorry if this is really loud because you're on the dashboard and uh, I have the air on full blast. So, and I took the microphone, the external microphone, off of my camera because it's just I was having issues with losing audio on footage and it was just getting frustrating. And like I said in the last video, I really just want to go with a more like organic approach, like here's my life, you know, I don't need to have like all this crazy gear because it's really not necessary. Before I hop in the shower, I wanted to show, look at this, like Loch Ness Monster vibe. <laughs> um, before I hop in the shower, one of the things that I do after long runs sometimes, especially like the longer that they are, or like even a really heavy like lifting workout is I love to take our Theragun. We have the mini. I can link it on Amazon for you. Um, I think I had gotten this around the holidays um, when it was on sale at Target um, for Curtis for Christmas. But this is such a good massager, you know, on your back and all of that too. But if you do it on your legs, you can break up all of that lactic acid buildup that you accumulate while you're running because you're cutting, you're sending all the oxygen to the muscles. It builds up and you just need to, um, to release that. And so I hope I said that right because I'm like in a little bit of a brain frog because I haven't had anything to eat. Um, I need protein. I need all of it. So, um, but this is really, really helpful after a long run or a really intense workout. So I'm going to do that really quick before I hop in the shower, get ready, and then head over to baseball. Before we head out, I'm going to scramble three eggs really quick to eat, and I'm going to take one of the little snack veggie and cheese cheese veggie and cheese trays. <laughs> I 
decided to take those scrambled eggs and make two breakfast burritos and it doesn't have any meat on it. It's just two flour tortillas, some scrambled eggs, some Mexican cheese, and the salsa. And I'm still gonna take this and that will be plenty to eat. This is actually probably gonna fill me up. Baseball's over and now we are at the house looking at the updates. The biggest thing is we have cabinets now, which is really exciting. Like I mentioned before, we did not pick out any of the interior for the house. Um, so I would have chosen gold pools, but actually this isn't that bad. And I really like the mixed metal. So I mentioned wanting to paint the island and uh, maybe, that's nice, the trash cans are already in. Uh, ooh, they also need soft clothes. <laughs> but um, painting this a uh, blue color and then putting gold poles on them, I think would look really, really nice. And hang two gold, metaled um, pendant lights above the island. I have been keeping my eye out. Um, if I find the ones that I just have to have, I'm gonna go ahead and buy them so that they will be ready to install whenever we move in. But this is it. I'm not really sure if this is supposed to be like this. Um, it may be like they have to cut that out for the microwave but I'm not really sure. And then the oven will go down here. Drawer down there. And it is nice they put in the cabinets that go all the way to the ceiling. This is actually also not going to be just the vent hood. It's going to be, um, it's gonna, I don't know what the, it's gonna have like a, I wanna say facet, that's not the right word. It's gonna have like a facade on it or whatever. It's gonna match the cabinets, it'll be white, and um, that'll go over the vent. And then the stove will go there. There's lots of cabinet space. And then over in the dining area, we have this all built in. The, I, I'm crazy about symmetry and this cabinet is further apart than this cabinet. So I'm not a big fan. It looks like they've marked stuff, so I don't know. I don't know if it's supposed to look like that, <laughs> but um, lots of extra cabinet space down here. And the cabinets are actually wrapped, or the island is actually wrapped with the same uh, material as the cabinets, which is really nice. Our house in Texas, it was just drywall. So that's a nice feature. Um, these cute little corbels, that's um, really, really pretty on the island as well. All the tile looks like it's here. For, uh, this looks, it says it's for the floor, but I'm not sure where that goes. Um, and then some more ceramic tile. The backsplash is going to be subway tile in a herringbone pattern, which is actually what we had in our house in Texas. The doors also got put on as well, so super tall, there are eight feet doors, I think. And Curtis's office has the double, um, the double French doors with the glass panes. It's feeling so much bigger, like a real house in here. Pantry doors on. It's nice the pantry has the um, wood shelving in it instead of the wired shelving, so that's nice. The 
hours on a laundry room. are in in the master as well again this is it looks like it's like a little bit of a gray color instead of white like in the kitchen but they also have the the same pools gosh my brain is ugh. door on the toilet room and this one hasn't gotten put in yet, and the closet door is in, door on the bedroom is in. It's pretty. Looks like all the um, outlet boxes got put in. So instead of them just being holes, now they have the boxes for them as well now. The paint looks like it's like finished. All the trim is still missing on the staircase. I mean, I guess they're gonna have, I mean, they'll have to touch it up, I guess, but it seems more complete. Doors, the doors upstairs, I think are the standard six feet. So then upstairs in the uh, extra bathrooms, the cabinets are the same as in the master. Exciting. <laughs> Cabinet up here. So all the tiling is supposed to get up this week, I believe. Hopefully all the trim will be complete and the exterior too. There are still some missing pieces. And once those go up, then um, they'll paint the exterior. I really want to find a really cool light to hang down in this big open space as well. So exciting. It has been a few hours since we've been at the house and right now I am meal prepping my lunches. I'm gonna do some green beans and some chicken cutlets and I'm about to roast those. I'm gonna get the chicken and I'll get it seasoned and put it on there and show you. And then I'm gonna make just some quick hamburgers uh, for dinner. I, it is late. I just got a order from Target um, and it includes some Easter dyeing kits and I splurged for the um, egg spinning thing to help them color. I just thought it would be really fun because I have to work tomorrow. So just a little fun activity. Of course we got some goodies. I'm going to take these two things to work tomorrow and I've got the kids and cookies here for the chicken, um, the thinly sliced chicken breast. And then I'm also making some potato salad. And of course there's a bunch of eggs back there because those are the ones that they will die. Um, but I'm gonna make some potato salad. I got a ham to cook and um, a couple of other things that uh, we can have for Easter dinner, which is tomorrow. Ooh, spitting up. Um, but the grill pan is getting hot for the burger. So that is gonna be what we're doing for dinner. I'm gonna throw some vegetables in the microwave and then call it a night. 
here are the green beans and the chicken. I seasoned the chicken with pink Himalayan salt and some fresh ground pepper. And I used the Flavor God lemon and garlic seasoning tonight. And then put a little bit of olive oil on it. So I'm gonna get these in the oven to cook up. Put this with some of that um, minute rice and that will be meal prep for one or uh, probably two, maybe all three lunches for the week. We'll see. Okay, that is it for meal prepping. We have our chicken breast that were seasoned and then I uh, squeezed some fresh lemon juice over top now that they're in their containers. It will just make when I heat it up tomorrow at work or the days that I work, it will make it just so juicy and delicious. Uh, you can use like the the juices from the chicken cooking and kind of um, put that over your meal and it'll do the same exact thing but I really wanted to have like a fresh lemon flavor whenever I eat at work those meals and so that's it for the meal prep that's it for this video and we'll see you in the next one